if you are looking to use a model for visual try on then maybe give a try to double ot diffusion model this model merges a person's half body or full body image with images of clothing by simply requiring both the person's image and the clothing images as input the model checkpoints trained on the Voiton HD datasets were officially also released on this GitHub repo and the checkpoints trained on the dress code dataset will be out soon. Let me show you a quick demo of this awesome model. So in this example, as you can see on the screen, we have a model, a person, and then on the right hand side, we have the garment. Once you run it in this Gradio demo, then Let's wait to see the magic in a few seconds. Almost there. Should not take too long now. There you go. You see that the model is now wearing the black t-shirt. Similarly, you can use a lot of other examples from here. Let's try out this one. So because the now on this size so let's do run so all you need to do is to give a person's uh, upper body image or even it works with the full body image and then also give it a garment and it is going to put that garment as a virtual try on onto the person's body so let's wait for this one to come back there you go so now she is wearing this t-shirt and it has of course adjusted the size of clothing as the person's body image amazing stuff now you can also give with uh, go with this full body image as you can see here so for example if i pick this one maybe let's do with this one and okay let's go with this ladies garment and then click on run Let's wait to see what it does with the full body image. There you go. So it has changed this person's t-shirt with this shirt. How cool is that? And you can of course change the trousers and all that stuff in the lower body too. But I haven't changed it. Now, um, they also have released a paper which describes in great detail how this thing works. This is the architectural diagram of what exactly is happening behind the scene. The two things which really jump out are on the left hand side if you see there is a clip text encoder, clip image encoder and then VA, VA encoder which is working on the latent space. Let me give you a quick overview as what exactly this is. Let me make it a bit smaller so that you would be able to see it on your screen properly. Now what is happening here is that we have here a clip encoder clip includes two separate encoders one for processing text and another for processing images each encoder transform its input into a common representation space where the similarities between texts and images can be directly compared the purpose of clip encoder is to understand a match and match text description to corresponding images or vice versa enabling the model to perform a wide range of vision and language tasks without task specific training it's more about understanding and linking the content of images and text rather than compressing data like vae encoder so v encoder v stands for uh, variational auto encoder and it is designed to compress data like images into a smaller more manageable representation called as latent space this process involves reducing the data to its essential features in a way that can be approximately reconstructed by the decoder part of the VAE. The goal here is to learn a dense representation that captures the variability of the data in a probabilistic manner, allowing for the generation of new data points that resemble the original input data. So both VAE, which is variational autoencoder, and CLIP, which is contrastive language image pre-training, encoder serve different purposes and work in distinct ways. So both are types of neural network, I should say. So at a very, very high level, a VAE encoder focuses on compressing data into latent space for reconstruction and generation purposes, whereas a CLIP encoder aims to bridge the gap between visual and textual information 
and that enables us to have more semantic understanding and matching between the two modalities. I have also used the word latent space which is being used in this image. Latent space is like an invisible layer where all the knowledge and characteristic of data such as images or text are stored in a compressed form. Think of it as a secret code that captures the essence of data but in a much simpler condensed way. And the word latent in machine learning refers to an underlying pattern in data that isn't directly observed but can be inferred through analysis. So that's pretty much it. Now you can also get this double OT feed installed locally easily. All you need to do is to clone this GitHub repo and then by using Conda you can install the prerequisites and then you need to run this on your clothing. And you also need to give the checkpointing here. Now you would need a real beefy system. I tried it out on my a local system with one GPU of 16 GPU of VRAM. It didn't work. So make sure that you have a beefy GPU with more than 16 GB of VRAM and give it a try. So otherwise I would have shown it how to install locally, but unfortunately I don't have that beefy system with me. So, but still a really good, I think, uh, add-on. I hope that they make it a bit more uh, GPU friendly for the bare mortals like us. And I will make another video showing you how it works. Also, you can, um, this GitHub repo doesn't, sorry, this GitHub repo doesn't show us how to uh, do the, with the Gradio, but still you can uh, try it out. Also, they give us this clip with large patch 14, which you need to put it in your checkpoints folder. One more thing is that this only has been tested on Ubuntu 22.04 and none other operating system. I have also already tried it out on Ubuntu 22.04, as I mentioned, with my 16 GB of uh, GPU and 32 GB of RAM. It didn't work. It failed. It was really, really struggling. Now, having said that, I still believe a really good addition to the whole um, this Vision Plus text LLMs and especially my favorite part of it is the it is similar to white and HD model as it uses alignment aware segment or alias normalization to handle misalignments between clothing and body images while preserving the texture sh sharpness and details of clothing at high resolution. Alias normalization is targeted feature adjustment process within image synthesis that dynamically aligns and integrates garments onto body segments by correcting feature distribution in areas of misalignment. So that's it guys. Let me know what do you think about this model. I will drop the link to this GitHub repo in video description so that you can also play around with it if you like, especially this Gradio demo which I showed you looks pretty cool. If you have any other thoughts or if you're aware of any other model or project which is similar to this, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to review it. If you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.